Maybe when you were 12 years old, life was like a journey full of amazing adventures and new discoveries. But for Lisa, everything is a little different. The little girl lost her mother very early, and the loss of her relatives ran through her entire childhood like a deep red thread. At first, she thought it was all a joke. It was impossible for people to leave this world, so ordinary and unable to return home. Somehow she thought it was just a joke, that her mother would be back now, wearing Aunt Tamara's black turban, saying something else. Irina married Andre, a precocious fisherman who was 15 years older than her. Andre immediately won the girl's favor, and every word or action he made was full of the confidence and power of a mature man. Andre was attracted by the girl's natural humility and docile character, knowing that her parents lived in poverty. As soon as he entered the door, he announced that he had come to propose to Prescovia Nikicina's daughter, and he cheered in his heart, he had finally succeeded in finding an in-law for his eldest daughter. However, she has been desperately taking care of her children and disabled husband in the past few years, living a difficult life. I have no objection, advice and love to you, and wish you a happy life. The woman replied quickly. Irina looked at her mother in surprise, but did not refute. In their family, parents' words were sacred, so the girl packed her humble luggage and put it into the fisherman's boat. Andre took her to a fishing village a little further up the river. For Irina, the days became filled with heavy labor and a difficult life. The husband didn't come home for several days, he was fishing, and when he came back, smelling of fish and tobacco, the first thing he did was pour himself a glass of vodka and start dinner. In this vast forest area, where it is otherwise impossible to survive, Irina understands that despite her husband's seriousness, he is reliable and loves her in his own way. Andre always wanted a reliable son to serve as his assistant in his hard work. When Irina became pregnant, he was ecstatic, and the whole nine months passed quickly, full of anxious waiting and hope. However, when Lent was approaching, when he learned that Andre had welcomed a daughter, his face darkened and he did not hide his disappointment, saying, God has sent another burden. It seems that I am I can't count on my son. His whole aura seemed to be dissatisfied with his wife, as if she was somehow guilty and a fate. Little Lisa, then unknown to them, became their beloved daughter. One day, while Andre was at the river, a bird flew into the couple's house, and in order to feed herself and her little daughter, the woman accepted an order for tanning. It was a hard job, and little Lisa remembered the bloody grinding of her mother's hands throughout her life, and her life gradually became orderly. Irina's hard work and persistence eventually bore fruit. She not only dealt with fur, but also sewed fur hats, vests, semi-furs and other products. One time, Irina decided to deliver a dozen skunk skins to a nearby village. The order was urgent, so in order not to take a detour, she decided to cross the frozen river. She was only a few dozen steps away from the shore. Suddenly, her feet collapsed. The poisonous grass ambushed by the snow made her sink into the water instantly, unable to release the precious cargo from her hands. In this way, both Irina and Andre were taken away by the Yancia River. In order not to send the girl to an orphanage, Tamara adopted her. Her mother's sister, Tamara, has three children of her own in addition to Lisa. Therefore, for the aunt, the presence of her niece brought no special joy to her. She always criticized Lisa, you are really bad. The dishes are not washed, the stove is not lit, and you are floating in the clouds all day, like a mother who is not doing her job properly. Tamara never really liked this girl, for obvious reasons. Lisa was the youngest in the family and she argued a lot. Her aunt always blamed her, saying that she couldn't do the housework. Sometimes she was tired of housework, so little Lisa ran to the forest, where there were tall pine trees and scattered elm trees, and she could be alone. In the whisper of leaves and the song of birds, she loved the grandeur of the forest and the creatures that inhabited it. They live according to the laws of nature, and it seems that one day, chasing an unusually beautiful butterfly, Lisa went further than usual. Unfamiliar with the forest, she moved cautiously, constantly looking over her shoulder, nervous at every sound. Suddenly, she heard a dog barking nearby, 
which turned into a scream that sounded more like a crying baby. Although the girl felt a chill of fear, curiosity still took over, and she tiptoed over a pile of fallen branches toward the source of the sound. Carefully parting the branches, Lisa found herself standing in a circular clearing like lightning. The sight that appeared in front of her stunned her. She screamed involuntarily and covered her eyes with her hands. She found herself trapped in a trap, with the cubs poking her with their noses, nuzzling their faces, and howling. Even to the girl it was clear that the she-wolf was dead, and the trap's sharp jaws gripped her front paws firmly until the gray she-wolf died. There are three cubs, they are small balls of gray fur, constantly looking for food. They couldn't understand what had happened to their mother, why she was lying there motionless. Seeing Lisa, the cubs paused for a moment, then quickly rushed towards her. At first the girl was frightened, but then the tiny cubs began to lick her hands and face, tickling her with their rough tongues. Oh, you must be starving, Lisa asked as she fumbled in her pockets. She eventually found a scrap of biscuit, divided it into three portions, and gave it to the cubs, who eagerly munched on the delicious treat. The girl began to think about what to do next, and finally she made the only right decision in the situation. Lisa tried to remember the way back and marked it with twigs stuck in the branches. She returns along the same path, but her destination is not home, but Granny's Eagle's Nest. Ivan Matvayevich, who always guarded the forest and its inhabitants, remembered that he had been standing there for a long time. He was old, but he did not like to mention this number, modestly saying that like Carlos, he was in the prime of life. Lisa spots Ivan Matvayevich and asks about him. The old hunter frowned, slapped the table with his hand, and said angrily, these beasts can't let people live a peaceful life at all. I heard that someone in the neighboring area lured a female bear into a trap in order to hunt bear cubs. And we've had tragedy here where someone shot a young fawn on the edge of the woods for deer hunting. Matevik, we need to do something. After listening to Lisa's description, Ivan Matvayevich frowned and thought for a moment, then slapped the table with his hand and said angrily, these beasts cannot let people live a peaceful life at all. I heard that in neighboring areas, a mother bear was lured into a trap in order to hunt her cubs, and we have had a tragic incident where a young deer was shot and killed in the woods while hunting for deer. Matvich, we have to action was taken. They set out together, Ivan Matvayevich leading the team on the path on the edge of Area 7, Lisa following closely behind. Their faithful dog, a pooch once known as Red, also accompanies them. Red Hare was once a hunter's pet, but one day he was seriously injured by a wild boar using cunning tactics. Since the owner was unwilling to care for the injured pet, he left it there to die. Ivan Matvayevich found it during a patrol and dug a hole with a small shovel to give the gray wolf a resting place. Ivan Matvayevich sighed and looked at the wolf cubs jumping happily around, the red hair with the curved back following behind them. These little guys are so pitiful, he said to Lisa. Uncle Ivan, let's take these little guys back and I'll help you. Please, Lisa Egger pleaded. Agreed, Matvichuk agreed, fully aware that the cub would likely die or fall prey to black market poachers. A considerable amount of money can be made for a wolf pup, just to needlessly destroy their family. After dismantling the trap into pieces, Matvichuk threw it into the ground filled the gaps and covered it with mats of snow and leaves from pine trees. Now the old man walked in front, followed by Lisa and the little wolf cub. The closer they got to Ager's residence, the more nervous the cubs became, sensing smells and sounds they had never experienced before, all coming from directions they had never set foot on. First, Matvichuk casts down a pile of iron pots containing a rich stew. Then he opened a can of condensed milk, added a little water, and placed it in front of the hungry wolf cubs and their mother. The little gray animals were mad with hunger, roaring and vying for food. The hungry wanderers said caringly, the old man is right, these three little wolves are all boys. They carefully considered how to feed these little wolves. The animals were named, and they finally decided to call them Moon Jackie and Simbe. Lisa now tried to take care of the household chores as quickly as possible and hurried over to Matvichuk. 
Thanks to his wife Sarah, they prepared a den for the pups, where there were plenty of places to play and the little animals felt very at home. The girl falls deeply in love with her pets, and they return her feelings in kind. Time passes quietly in the seasons change, bringing new changes to the lives of our heroes. The little wolf pups grew up and turned into real cunning wolves. Matvichuk found it increasingly difficult to control them. They often howl in the middle of the night, scaring local poachers in villages and clutching their guns. Lisa, transformed from an awkward teenager into a petite beauty with a head of thick chestnut hair and blazing dark brown eyes. Aunt Tamara couldn't wait for her niece to turn 18 so she could send her to the city. She said to Lisa, Honey, pack your bags and go to the city, there are more job opportunities and possibilities there. Remember, there is no turning back, I have my own things to do until my neck is drowning. Helping her remember her mom's memory, Aunt Tamara said in a light-hearted tone, have a safe journey. The big city wasn't kind to Lisa. The 1,000 residents of this huge city rushed back and forth, bewildered by their own ideas. The girl found a position as a warehouse manager working at a vegetable base. She has little experience, but she has a lot of enthusiasm for her work. The employer took advantage of her naivety and unceremoniously took advantage of her, leaving a huge loss. The girl cried sadly, she was sincere and innocent, as we all know that for every kind heart there is someone ready to take advantage of others. However, Lisa has followed the principles of being in the village for most of her life, which can't help but leave its mark on her character. One day, near the subway station, Lisa saw a girl about six years old. There was a cardboard box at her feet, and few passers-by were throwing change into the cardboard box. The girl used an old violin to play the melody she had been familiar with since she was a child. Lisa stopped, as if she couldn't move at all. She felt very sorry in her heart, and she could see an invisible pain and suffering in the little girl's eyes. The girl took out all the money in her pocket and put it into the cardboard box. Honey, this is too much and it doesn't have to be this way, the girl said with tears in her eyes. Take it, you're welcome. Tell me your name and why are you sitting here? Lisa asked in a trembling voice. From the conversation, she learned that the girl's name was Katia and that her mother died a year ago. Recently, her apartment was sealed and since she has no relatives, she will be sent to an orphanage. Katia escaped from the orphanage and now lives at a train station, she doesn't want to be in an institution. Local vendors took care of her from their stalls, where she kept warm. The beggars at the railway station took advantage of her helplessness and took her money. Lisa's heart was touched and she asked, why did you learn the violin? I went to music school for a year. The teacher once said that I have talent, the little girl said softly, but what can I do? Lisa saw a shadow in the girl and knew she couldn't ignore her plight. Lisa told herself that she could not forgive herself for not helping her. Women's hearts are always kind. She decided to take Katia back to the countryside. After my mother passed away, she left a house behind. Although the condition is not very good, it is better than here. Lisa said to Katia, we will be better off than in this city. On the base, I took all the scolding and I don't want to be used by them. Every word the girl said made her inner self-confidence stronger and stronger. When night falls, they leave the city together, hoping to start a new life. In the countryside, life flows in an orderly manner, and time seems to have stood still. The house looked shabby, as if they were lonely where they lived. Katia got out of the car and two female hands slowly but surely restored order to the house. The ceilings were whitened, the floors were mopped, and the cobwebs in the corners were cleared. Aunt Tamara sneered, raising the corner of her mouth with a contemptuous curve and said, Oh, the workers are here too, and they brought a girl with them. The silly girl in their eyes was also a silly girl before, and this is still the case. On a dark and gloomy night, three pairs of blazing eyes walked into the courtyard, making Katie very scared. But Lisa smiled and walked towards Vako without fear and said, This is Jack, Simba and Naughty. They are my friends. K 
Katie watched in surprise as the wolves got close to Lisa and used their noses licking Lisa's hands and neck. From then on they came almost every night. The girl and the woman she calls, Mom, can finally feel happy, if they could only know that the dangers of the three fugitives are always following them, and their fate is very dangerous. As they approach, three felons decide to take a chance and escape from prison late at night. Matwich saw them, but they overpowered him, took the double-barreled shotgun off its hook, and walked toward the village. Lisa's house was their first target, and a greedy smile appeared on the old man's face. The prisoner broke into the house, pointed his gun at the owner of the house, and demanded, bring me a bottle of vodka, quickly, and then warm us up. We will stay here for the night and leave in the morning. Lisa nodded obediently, then he quietly pushed Katie out of the door and whispered, run, little Katie. The little girl hid in the bushes at a loss, and then suddenly a wet black nose touched her shoulder. Naughty little one, help me, my mother was killed there. She whispered to the wolf, as if the wolf understood her, and she and her siblings quietly sneaked into the back door of Lisa's house. There a melee broke out, like a fox breaking into a hen house, and the wolves tore apart the prisoners, driven into a frenzy, so that only a few hairs could be thrown out of them. The vicious thugs screamed in pain and understood their inescapable fate. They don't know that behind them, the army and the pursuit team are tracking them. When the torn robbers climbed out of Lisa's house, the police looked at them in surprise as they left, thanked them, and said, thank you, grey protectors. The police said, watching the wolves quietly leave. While Lisa held little Katie in tears, feeling something that had become dear to her. Once Lisa recovered from the shock of her experience, she immediately filed for custody. Then is the second story. Let's continue. Rescue people in distress, when others encounter difficulties, we should do our best to lend a helping hand, these are beliefs rooted in the human heart, this is also a manifestation of the continuous progress of society. Mutual assistance between people is very common in life. Animals are part of society. It is precisely because of the existence of animals that our society is colorful. So when we come across a critter in deep trouble, that we should spare no effort to lend a helping hand. That we're not looking for their rewards. All this is because we have kindness and love for nature in our hearts. A cow lying weak on the side of the road. It's writhing around. Obviously, it's in trouble. A man passing by after he checked the situation. The kindness in his heart kept telling him that he can't turn a blind eye to this, what difficulties did the cows encounter? The second Sunday in May every year is a holiday to thank mothers, Mother's Day. Mother is the greatest person in this world, she not only gave us life, but also built us a shelter that she devoted her whole life to her children, maternal love is selfless and unique, maternal love does not only exist in us human beings, many animals in nature also have a very strong maternal love. I in nature, every mother is doing her best to raise her child. They have to go through many difficulties to bring their children into this world, and may sacrifice their precious lives, maternal love is worthy of everyone's respect and praise. Today this touching story happened to a cow, Benjamin and his wife Kayla live in a small town in Texas, like most people in the area, Benjamin works for an agricultural production company called AgriM.So Benjamin will come into contact with all kinds of animals on the farm. When it comes to puzzles about animals, Benjamin is able to use his rich experience to help the company deal with urgent issues. More importantly, Benjamin was originally a kind-hearted person who loved animals, not only at work. But also in life, he has reached out to animals in need. Mother's Day in May 2017. Benjamin and wife Kayla bought a lot of presents that he is ready to spend this warm festival with his family. During the banquet, Benjamin photographed many warm moments, then he posted these photos on social networking sites, wanting to share this moment of happiness with those who care about him. This festival is very important to their family. After dinner with the family, Benjamin and his wife are visiting their other mother with presents that they are going to drive, Benjamin and his wife set out on the road full of joy, imagining their mother's surprised and happy expressions when they saw them, but they didn't expect that the journey would not be so smooth, something will happen tonight that they will never forget in their lifetime, anyone who has worked with cows knows that. The average time a cow is pregnant is 283 days, or just over 9 months, 
but because the physique and breed of each cow are different, the timing of their pregnancies can also vary, the sex of their pups can also be affected by this. For example, if a cow is carrying a male calf, the cow's gestation time will be longer, but we all know that childbirth isn't all smooth sailing. This process will face all kinds of unexpected things, cows are often dystocia. After a cow shows symptoms of dystocia that IT is very dangerous without outside help, insufficient uterine contractility, abnormal position of the calf, or large calf size, these are the reasons why cows have dystocia, Benjamin and his wife met a cow with dystocia, Benjamin and his wife are driving on the road, suddenly, a cow lying on the side of the road caught their attention out of his strong affection for animals. Benjamin immediately parked the car near the cow, Benjamin dared not make too much. Noise for fear of disturbing the cow, Benjamin and his wife came to the side of the cow. At this time, the cow was lying weakly on the ground, howling continuously from its mouth. It looks very painful, Benjamin found that the cow's abdomen was obviously swollen and kept shrinking. It is giving birth, but the cow's physical strength seems to have been exhausted, which doesn't seem like a sign of just giving birth. These symptoms may have been going on for a long time, Benjamin, who has rich experience, immediately concluded that, this cow must have had a dystocia, cow and calf are at risk if she doesn't deliver her calf in time, Benjamin made a decisive decision. He wanted to help this dystocia cow give birth to a calf, childbirth is physically traumatic for animals, because they are different from what humans face during childbirth, human beings are accompanied by midwives throughout the process to ensure that you give birth safely, animals can only rely on their own strength. If they are lucky, they will be safe and sound so, we won't know how difficult it is for cows who give birth alone, Benjamin once rescued a cow with dystocia, her newborn calf died after assisted delivery was delayed, the cow lying next to her baby with tired and sad eyes looking at the poor cow and the dead calf, Benjamin was very sad. Such a thing left Benjamin with regret that he secretly swears in his heart that if he encounters similar incidents in the future, he must do his best to ensure the safety of. The cow and calves, Benjamin squatted beside the cow, stretched out his hand and stroked the cow tenderly. He comforts the cow with words of encouragement while encouraging the cow, he squeezed the cow's belly with both hands that he wants to use his own strength to help cows give birth. Animals are smart. The cow can feel that Benjamin is helping her, tired cows are reinvigorated. For himself, and even for the unborn CUB.IT strikes again, this time it exerted all its strength, Benjamin saw the cow trying so hard to give birth that he also works very hard to help the cows give birth, finally, with the help of Benjamin and the efforts of the cow that a calf is finally born, the cow is lying weakly on the ground, as if it has won a tough battle. Benjamin watched the newborn calf look so healthy that he finally relaxed, his wife filmed the scene on her mobile phone, the two hugged each other. Tightly, unable to hide their inner excitement, both the cow and its calf were saved, this also made up for Benjamin's regrets over the years. Benjamin's wife posted a video of him helping the cow give birth on social networking sites, this has aroused heated discussions among many netizens, they are all full of praise for Benjamin's behavior. Although this delayed visiting his mother, his mother raved about them. It was a special Mother's Day gift for his mom, Benjamin helping the cows, this is not only to make up for his regret, but also out of love and protection for animals, the cow tried her best and did not give up until the last moment, this is because of the power of maternal love, these are the most precious feelings in the world. Many animal mothers in nature go to great lengths to take care of their babies, they are very competent. Mothers. Mother has a special meaning, such a small animal full of emotion and spirituality deserves to be protected by each of us.to protect wild animals, but also to protect the nature we depend on for survival. Then is the third story. Let's go. The pregnant cow broke into a forest, but unfortunately, it was caught by a hunter. Just as the hunter was preparing to shoot, a fierce wild wolf suddenly appeared, and the hunter immediately ran away. The wild wolf successfully protected the cow and the child in its belly. Diego lives on a farm with his parents and grandparents. He likes farm life and even does most of the housework, especially taking care of the animals on the farm. Diego gets along well with these animals, and the animals also like him very much. They always surround Diego and listen to him very much. Diego's grandfather called this a kind of superpower, and no one can communicate with animals like Diego. 
That's why Diego's grandfather entrusted him with the most important thing on the farm, namely, taking care of pregnant cows. This cow has become very unstable since she conceived her baby, often losing her temper at other animals, and sometimes even keeping humans away from her. In order for the cow to obtain sufficient nutrition, the breeder had to carefully put the food into the rice trough, but this irascible cow often upset the food, which made the breeder very helpless. The keeper told Diego's grandfather about the matter and hoped that he could come up with a solution. Grandfather thought for a moment and decided to let Diego, who was able to talk to animals, give it a try. So grandfather told Diego the story, but Diego agreed without even thinking about it. He was confident that he could pacify the cow. Diego came to the cow pen and found the cow lying on the ground, looking unhappy. In order for the cows to trust him, Diego did not go directly at first, but stood quietly a meter away from the fence, hoping to get the cows to notice him first. However, the cow only glanced at Diego lightly and made no response, still lying there. Diego didn't expect this method to work, so he took a step forward and tried to communicate with the cow. However Diego spoke, the cow never responded to him. Diego was puzzled, and he thought the cow seemed to have something on her mind. Looking at the glum cow, Diego realized that perhaps it was the cow that missed her family. On the farm, there is a regulation that pregnant animals should be fed separately. It is believed that this will not only better protect them and the children in their bellies, but also facilitate the ingestion of sufficient nutrients by pregnant animals. The keepers will prepare food for these pregnant mothers individually every day. This rule has been in effect on the farm for many years and has been going smoothly, but by the cows, everything seems to have changed. To cheer the cow up, Diego plans to take it out to find family. The cattle on the farm move freely on the grassland during the day, and only at night will they be driven into the cattle pen. Diego opened the fence and led the cow to the grassland. When the cow saw the cows not far away, it immediately became very excited and quickly ran towards the cows. Looking at the excited cow, Diego knew that his judgment was correct, and he was relieved a lot. Diego decided to prepare food for the cow and come back to pick it up later, but to his surprise, the cow ran away and lost. Upon learning the news, Diego immediately took someone to the vicinity of the farm to look for it. There are many mountains and forests around the farm, and many wild animals live here. People worry that the cow will be attacked by large wild animals, which will not only threaten the cow's life, but also affect the baby in its belly. At one time, the situation becomes very critical. The public's judgment was correct. The cow did indeed run into the forest, but for the cow, it was not so much a dangerous experience as a wonderful encounter. The cow did not want to return to the life of human restraint, as it took advantage of Diego's absence and sneaked into the forest. It looked at the dense vegetation around it and listened to the cries of various animals. The cow felt the lightness and freedom it had not seen for a long time. It ran heartily through the forest, unaware that it had come a long way. At this moment, the cow heard the sound of water coming from a distance. It thought there should be a small stream there. Just as it happened, the cow was also tired. It planned to go to the stream to rest for a while and replenish water. The cow successfully found the stream, and it gulped down the sweet water. Little did it know that danger was creeping closer to it. A hunter was wandering around in the forest, hoping to capture as many animals as possible before sunset in order to make more money. As he walked, he suddenly saw a cow drinking water not far away. He wondered why the cow appeared here. The hunter carefully observed the cow and noticed a special mark on its body. He immediately realized that it was a cow from a nearby farm, and the cow should have sneaked out on its own. However, the greedy hunter had no intention of sending the cow back to the farm. Looking at the sturdy cow, the hunter felt that he would definitely sell it for a good price. The hunter quietly raised his gun and aimed it at the unsuspecting cow. However, just as he was preparing to shoot, a wild wolf suddenly rushed out of the bushes. The hunter was startled by the wild wolf, and he stood still, unsure of what to do. Although the hunter had seen many wild animals, 
it was the first time he had come into contact with a fierce wolf at such close range. The hunter naturally knew the horror of the wild wolf, and at that moment, many thoughts flashed through his mind. He tried to escape, but how could humans match the speed of a beast? If the wolves were disturbed, I'm afraid he wouldn't even have a chance to struggle. The wolf approached the hunter bit by bit, and the hunter felt unprecedented fear. He slowly retreated, hoping to distance himself from the wolf. However, the hunter realized that the wolf did not seem to have any intention of attacking him, because after a few steps forward, he stopped in place. Perhaps the wolf just wanted to let himself go. The hunter understood the thoughts of the wild wolf and immediately turned and ran away. Fortunately, the wild wolf, as he had guessed, did not come after him. The hunter successfully escaped from the forest and saved his life, but this experience also left a shadow for him. For a long time after that, the hunter dared not step into the forest again, for he was afraid of encountering the wild wolf again. In fact, if there were no wolves in time, the cow would surely have been captured by hunters. Why would the wolves have saved the cow? It turned out that this wild wolf was a male wolf. Not long ago, its partner gave birth to three babies belonging to them. While the wolf couple were still immersed in the joy of becoming new parents, an accident occurred. A wolf cub was lost in the forest. By the time the male wolf discovered it, the cub had already passed away, and the male wolf could not bear the blow of losing the child. During this period, the male wolf had been in great pain. When the male wolf was wandering in the forest, he discovered that the hunter was preparing to kill the cow. Perhaps there was some sense between the animals. The male wolf sensed that the cow was pregnant, and he thought of his own child. He did not want the unborn child to die like this. Therefore, he decided to save the cow. After driving away the hunter, the male wolf also left, and he did not want to surprise the cow. Finally, Diego successfully found the cow and brought it back to the farm. With this experience, the farm also cancelled the feeding pregnant animals alone rule, and the cow returned to the herd. With the company of her family and Diego, the cow successfully gave birth to a healthy cow treasure, which finally brought the matter to a successful end. Thank you.